What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. Today, I've got the second edition of five super useful grammar structures. Two years ago, I made a lesson with five grammar structures, and today I selected five more. So I think these grammar structures can come in handy and can help you stand out and score higher when taking your C1 and C2 exams. Are you ready? If so, grab a pen and your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off. So in the first edition that I made two years ago, I covered the following five grammar structures. The first one was the the. The second one was not nearly as. The third one was focused on conditionals. Number four was focused on inversion. And number five on modal verbs or deduction and speculation. If you haven't seen this lesson, check it out. You can find the card right here. And also all the links will be in the description down below. So when taking an English exam, both written and speaking, it's really important to use a wide range of grammar structures so that our English is more varied and interesting to the listener. Today, we're going to look at five grammar features that will bring variety and color to our English. Without further ado, let's get down to business. The first grammar structure Instead of starting our sentence in the usual way with the subject, verb, and the object, sometimes we could start our sentence with no matter and then a question word. For example, no matter what, no matter how, when, where, or why. This structure means that something is always true, whatever the situation is. And it can also mean that someone should certainly do something. First, let's look at some examples with no matter how. For example, no matter how hard it is, I won't give up. So after the question word how, we can use or an adverb or an adjective. Number two, no matter how well you do it, you'll never find perfection. Number three, no matter how much it rains, the sun always comes out. Number four, no matter how fast time goes by, I'll try to savor every moment. Number five, no matter how handsome you are, it makes no difference to me if you don't have emotional intelligence. And one more example with how, no matter how often I go to Javier, it never ceases to amaze me. And now this one too, some examples with no matter what. The first one, no matter what happens, I'll always be by your side. Number two, no matter what the outcome is, be proud of yourself. And one more example here, I'll pass the exam no matter what. And now, no matter when. For example, no matter when you decide to change your life, it's never too late. No matter why. For example, no matter why he did that, there is no way back. No matter where. One simple sentence, no matter where I travel, I like blending in with the locals. And last but not least, no matter who. For example, no matter who you are, don't forget your roots. And now let's move on to our second grammar structure. We can start our sentence in a different way by saying match as. It means in the same way, although and even though. And now let's look at five examples. The first one, much as it's enjoyable to spend time at home, we also need to spend time with our friends. Number two, much as I like socializing, I also need some me time. Number three, much as I'd like to, I can't forget what they've done. Number four, much as I love watching Netflix, it's nice to go to the cinema from time to time. And one more example, much as I love living on my own and being independent, I also need company. 
On to the next one. If you want to start your sentence in a very original way, you can use cleft sentences. One and a half years ago, I made a lesson focused on cleft sentences. If you haven't seen it yet and you want to study cleft sentences in more detail, make sure you check out this lesson. Now we're going to look at five cleft sentences. Number one, what I want to point out is the importance of improving your critical thinking skills. In this case, we start our sentence with what. What I want to point out is whatever. Number two, all I know is that good will prevail over evil. In this case, we start our sentence with all. Number three, all that matters is that you keep going no matter what. Number four, what happened was beyond my wildest dreams. And one more example here, why he did that is something I can't wrap my head around. And now let's move to our fourth grammar feature. We can also use auxiliary verbs to add emphasis and to stress what we feel strongly about. And here I also have five sample sentences. The first one, I do think we should do more to stop the war. In this case, we need to stress the auxiliary verb do. I do think we should do more to stop the war. Number two, I do see your point, although I wouldn't go for this option. Number three, although I prefer to travel with friends, I do want to make a trip on my own in the near future. Number four, we do need to stop being bystanders and do something to solve the current problem. And one more example, do count on me if you need my help. And last but not least, the final grammar structure for today is the passive voice. I think it's a great feature to use in your exam, especially in formal writings. And firstly, I want to let you know that I have a lesson on the grammar structure that has to do with the passive, which is to get or to have something done. If you haven't seen this lesson, make sure you check it out. The same, you can find the card right here and all the links are in the description down below. Secondly, I highly recommend my go-to grammar book, English Grammar in Use by Murphy. That will help you brush up on your grammar and specifically on the passive voice you can find some units to practice and to do lots of exercises on passive from 42 to 46. If you don't have this book, you can find the link again, the same in my description down below. And thirdly, today I want to cover two passive structures. The first one, we can use reporting verbs and I think they can come in handy for your exams. Here we have two options. The first one, we can say it's and then reporting verb. We can say it's believed, claimed, considered, known, hoped, said, thought, expected, reported, alleged, agreed, understood, suggested, and then plus that, which is optional, and plus a clause. This is the first option, something is thought, something is understood, something is said, etc. And the second option is to use a subject plus the verb to be plus a reporting verb and plus to plus infinitive if it's present or to plus have plus past participle if we refer to the past. So now we're going to look at some examples in order to see it more clearly. The first one, it said that Putin has cancer. So the first option is to start with it, it said that whatever. The second option, we can start with the subject. Putin is said to have cancer. Both options are equally 
correct and you can use both of them. The second example, it's known that a lack of sleep can trigger serious health problems. And the second option here, a lack of sleep can trigger serious health problems. The third example and the first option, it's hoped that the pandemic will end soon. And the second option, we can start with the pandemic. The pandemic is hoped to end soon. Number four, it's reported that two civilians were injured in the explosion. And the second option, two civilians are reported to have been injured in the explosion. As we refer to the past, we have to use have been injured. And one more example here, it's alleged that they set fire to the house. And the second option here, we can start with they, they are alleged to have set fire to the house. And as we talk about the past, we need this have, to have set fire to the house. And by the way, the verb to allege is C2, and it means to say that someone has done something illegal or wrong without given proof. And the last grammar structure that I want to touch on today is I don't like being followed by passive. And now let's look at some examples. The first example, I don't like people bossing me around. This would be the active form. If you want to make it passive, we can say, I don't like being bossed around. And three more examples. Number two, I hate being told what to do. Number three, I remember being treated so well by Balinese people. And the last example for today, I wouldn't like to become famous because I like to go about my daily life without being recognized. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and found it useful. I really hope these five grammar structures will stand you in good stead and will help you shine and show off and ultimately score higher when taking your C1 and C2 English exams. And of course, if you learned something new and enjoyed today's lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. Thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely Sunday and see you next Wednesday with a short and in a week with a long lesson as usual. Have a lovely day. Ciao for now. And secondly, today, and second, and the second option, and the second option, this would be the active form. If we want to make it negative, a uh, negative, no. Number five, no matter how handsome you are, it makes no difference to me if you have if you don't have emotional intelligence. Okay. okay, and last but not least, 